Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training, with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. So here this is an object repository and what does the object repository contain? The object repository is going to contain list of objects plus the properties. Okay. So this is your object repository which contains a list of objects. So here these are the list of objects that are present in our course and on other side we have the properties this is a properties so how do we define this object repository it is a location that contains the list of objects along with the object properties okay so now take a look at this agent name is there i click on the agent name then it shows the properties the name of the agent name I mean the label that we have given it is agent name it belongs to the class called as win edit okay this is a native class native class means what this one win edit is you know the complete class win web okay that is a class native class means the main class it is edit attached text what is the text that is attached it is agent name okay then we click on the password you can see it belongs to the edit and then password click on the ok button it belongs to the win button again uh, the description properties and then you have the native class right this is your object repository if you go to the date of flight you can see that this is a customized object win object over here okay then we have the business we have the radio button over here okay Fine. So this is your object repository. Now you might be thinking what is the use of this object repository? Why is the QTP having it? Right? I will show you why the QTP has it. I will select this agent name. I will delete it from the object repository. Do you see here cross mark? Select the object, delete it. Okay. Let me delete this password also. Select, delete. Okay. I have deleted two objects from the object repository. I will close this. Then I will close all these password encoder and then the application also. Then I will click on run button. Okay, we are getting some error over here. Okay, go through this error, read it properly and tell me why we are getting this error. And also explain what is the purpose of object repository. Okay, so you got to answer two questions. 
the first one is what is this error that you are seeing on my screen okay second question is what is the purpose of object repository okay yes what is the purpose of the object repository are you trying to you know identify what is the importance of the object repository what happens if the object is not present in the object repository okay the first answer is okay since i deleted the agent name from the object repository that's why it is giving me the error it is telling me that the agent name is not found in the object repository because i deleted it right i deleted the agent name i deleted the password also but anyways it is not proceeding further so it is telling me that agent name is not present in our object repository okay then what is the purpose of object repository then now can we come to the conclusion that while the qtp is doing the execution it is referring to the object repository okay what does this prove this proves that okay during the execution the qtp is referring to the object repository in order to identify the objects right is it proof if the objects are not present in object repository it is giving us the error what does that mean it means that every time it is you know referring to the object repository in order to identify the objects okay it is trying to identify the objects because the object repository contains the properties of the objects okay this is the purpose clear everybody okay fine now um, i will stop this but again there is another question now there is a error we are able to see that okay there is a error what is the error the agent name is not present in the object repository now tell me what is the solution for this error is agent name is not present in object repository right so what is the solution for this problem exactly add it back then the problem will be solved i deleted it right so add it back into the object repository okay then your problem will be solved now the next question is how to add it okay let's see how to add it so i have the qtp over here and then i have the application go to the object repository this is the object repository here let me open this okay so object repository is open then we have the login over here and do you see we have here add objects to the local do you see there is a button over here which is nothing but which is the add objects to local so we got to click on this and then we click on this agent name so here a window opens which says object selection add to repository okay object selection add to the repository then click on okay button do you see 
agent name has got added to the object repository okay I know you want to see it again okay no problem I will show it again I knew okay somebody would like to see it again so that is the reason I had deleted both agent name and the password okay now I will show you how to add the password same thing again click on this add objects to the local click on the password field click on the ok button password is added is that clear everyone ok yes this is how you add the objects back into the object repository now if we execute it will not show the same error we can try it if you want ok I click on the run again and then I click on the OK button. So do you see this time it did not give me any problem. It got executed. So do you see this is done it is passed okay okay to delete it Sophie look here go to the resources object repository Okay, Dinesh, ignore the warnings. Okay, those are um, the recovery scenario manager related uh, warnings. Okay, which is like you know just in my computer because for the previous batches I was teaching uh, recovery scenario and that has got applied. Okay, so you can ignore it. So do delete Sophie, select and then click on this cross mark, it will get deleted. Okay, that is it okay so now this is done I hope you know we discussed regarding the active screen yesterday but I would like to show you again so here if I click on this date of flight do you see the date of flight is highlighted over here if I click on fly from fly from will be highlighted click on the flight button flight will be highlighted do you see okay that's okay Sophie you will be having a button there add objects to the local you can select that okay fine now I hope everybody is clear with these objects then okay the next thing is the object properties okay we said that all the objects are going to have the object properties okay the location uh, basically uh, the QTP can store which is yeah and who is going to create this object repository it will be created automatically by the QTP during the recording process not during the execution and if we are manually writing the script then we got to add it manually then the next thing is object spy object spy is for identifying the properties of the object okay okay so Lavanya wants to see it again how to add the objects to the object repository let's show her okay this time I will delete the ok button then we got to keep our application open then click on this add objects to the local and then if I have to shift between the different windows I got to hold on the control key and then release it click on the OK button click on this OK it gets added okay now I said you that you know we so many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are 
You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com. On our website h2kinfosys.com, you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also, if you're interested in a demo program, please register on our homepage on the left-hand side. Just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770-777-1269. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at 020-337-17615. You can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.